Hi everyone, in this video tutorial I'll be teaching you guys how to create a slider or a volume slider using the slider component in Adobe Flash CS6. So let's start off the tutorial, let's go to ActionScript 3.0, I'll create a brand new document and I'll name the first layer Slider. Within that layer I'll go to the text tool, I'll create some text, I'll create volume slider, basically letting people know that it's a volume slider. I'll then go to modify, transform, then free transform. I will enlarge the text so you can see it more clearly. Once you've done that, I'll go to the components section and I'll insert a slider. Just like that. With the slider selected, I'll go to properties, width, and I'll change the dimensions to 200 pixels wide. While I'm in the properties panel, I'll go over to component parameters and I'll change the maximum value to 1 and I'll change the, uh, the value right there to 1 as well. I'll also change the snap interval to 0 0.1. This ensures a smooth transition of the cursor within the bar. So once you've done that, I will reposition the uh, slider so it's in, mi in the middle of the canvas page. I will then give it an instance name of slider. Just like that. So once you've done that, I'll create a new layer. And in this layer, I'll name it Song. Basically, this is where our music will be, or our song will be. So I'll click on the first frame of that song layer. I'll go to File, Import, Import to Stage. And within the Music folder, basically once you buy like a laptop or a computer, you should get some default music. So basically the song I'm going to choose is Kalimba by Mr. Scruff. Basically it's royalty free music. So I'll select that. That should go to my libraries panel. I will drag Kalimba onto the canvas page. And if you'd noticed within that first frame you should get or you should see a sound wave within that first frame uh, basically denoting that the song has been added to your um, to your to your timeline once you've finished importing your song onto the canvas page I'll go to the layers panel I'll create another layer I'll name this layer AS3 short for action script I'll click on the first frame go to actions and I'll type in the following code. I'll type in import space fl dot events dot slider event semicolon. I'll type in import again space flash dot media dot sound with a capital S transform with a capital T semicolon. I'll now give it a variable so I'll type in there vol transform colon sound transform with a capital S and T equal sign new space sound transform open close bracket semicolon basically you want the last S and T of sound transform as capitals I'll then type in slider with a capital S dot add event listener with a capital E and L open bracket slider 
event dot thumb underscore drag comma change vol close bracket semicolon don't worry if you don't get the code um, off the bat I'll be placing the entire code within the description box so it will be easy for you just to copy and paste this code I then want to add a function so I'll type in function change vol open bracket event colon slider with a capital S event with a capital E close bracket colon void open parenthesis vol transform dot volume equals slider dot value semicolon then type in sound with a capital S mixer with a capital M dot sound transform with a capital T equals vol transform close parenthesis once I'm happy with that I'll check the syntax. I'll then go to timeline and I'll test out our volume bar. Okay, that didn't work out the way I expected it to, so I'll go back to actions. So we'll see if it works right now. I'll go back to timeline, control enter. So basically, if I change the, there's our volume slider. Basically, if I change the, um, basically it allows me to change the volume of the song like so so I can either mute the volume or mute the song by having the barb set to the left side of the screen and I can set it to the maximum volume and there you have it there's your um, volume slider using this the slider component in Adobe Flash CS6 I hope you like this video um, like I said earlier on, I'll be placing the entire code within the um, description box. If you have any comments, please ask them and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.